My name is Rob Rosenberger. I'm the editor of a website known as V-Myths. That's V-M-O-V-M-Y-T-H-S dot com. Hard to pronounce, easy to describe. We offer the truth about the computer security industrial complex. We expose hysteria. That's our job. It's a niche market, but we've got a lock on it. <laughs> Every week in our free newsletter, we have a section called Humor Control. It's like rumor control, only it's about humor. Humor control, get it? Why humor control? Well, when most of your industry runs on hysteria to sell its products, the worst thing you could possibly hear is the sound of laughter. Again, it's a niche, but we've got a lock on it. Every week in Humor Control, I have to write a paragraph about an idiot living in Malaysia who calls himself Mel Hacker. Well, who's Mel Hacker, Rob? Oh, I'm glad you asked. He's an idiot living in Malaysia, in his parents' shanty, no doubt, and he's the world's most dangerous cyber terrorist. <laughs> he's working for Osama. He's working for Al Qaeda, believe it or not. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But what's um, what's impressive is this mediocre virus writer, and he's mediocre at best. This mediocre virus writer has got the media convinced. Er! They're hook, line, and sinker on this idea that he is the world's most dangerous cyber terrorist. And what's worse, he's got the United States military convinced of it, too. Oh, yes! Every time this kid pre-announces his diabolical creations, pre-announces, he doesn't even have to release them, he just pre-announces them, ah! the United States military runs like a helpless damsel in distress. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're on their knees begging this kid not to do anything to him. <laughs> Sad, but true. <clears throat> now, Mel Hacker claims that he's written this three-in-one mega worm known as Skezda. That's S-C-E-Z-D-A dot com. Actually, he doesn't own that. I do. Ah! Here's a little message to you, you little cyber terrorist. you got to start using the six inches between these two fingers, okay? Because when you pre-announce your diabolical creations, you got to at least come up with enough babysitting money to buy the, the dot com for it. <laughs> Idiot Mel Hacker. <clears throat> Ah, sad day, sad day. This is the world's most dangerous cyber terrorist, working for Osama. <clears throat> anyway, I write about him every week. I got a paragraph on this little idiot every single week. Because he keeps pre-announcing this three-in-one mega worm called Skezda, but he doesn't release it. Oh, he threatened the United States. Oh, if you go into Iraq, I'll unleash this and destroy you, blah, blah, blah. And the media fell for it. Oh, especially Dan Burton. <clears throat> At Computer World. I'm sorry. Every time I mention Dan Burton's name, <coughs> I just, it's a horrible taste in my mouth. I can say Mel Hacker and duh. <laughs> but Dan Burton, <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> just a horrible taste. <laughs> if you think I'm going to pay for that, that's nothing compared to what's coming up at the end of this video. Oh, I'm going to pay. <laughs> I'm going to pay for what's coming up. Oh, ah, well. At any rate, though, Mel Hacker apparently has finally realized that we've been writing about him every week. Either he went to skezda.com or he started subscribing to our newsletter because I now have uh, 17,924 emails from this little idiot. <laughs> and they're still coming in. <laughs> apparently, he's angry. Let's look at one of these emails. Now, if we get past all the swear words... Oh, <clears throat> It's a fine testament to Malaysia's education system that this kid can at least spell the swear words, right? <laughs> Idiots! I'm probably going to hear from Malaysia's education director over that, but <laughs> too bad to you! <clears throat> he spelled all the swear words right. Once you get past all that and you go through, he's got... He's angry. <laughs> and he's now going to release his 3-in-1 mega worm. Oh! Apparently, the invasion of Iraq was not enough to make him do it, but... Our humor at Vemiths was. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now, here's what his 3-in-1 Mega Worm is going to do. It's going to delete every MP3 file in the United States. If you have a music file in MP3 format, it's going to be deleted by this 3-in-1 Mega Worm codenamed Skezda. Unless it happens to contain a Nasheed. If your MP3... Well, what's a Nasheed, Rob? I'm glad you asked. <clears throat> Because I had to go look that up. <laughs> a nasheed is an Islamic song. Much like a hymn is a Christian song, a nasheed is an Islamic song. Very reverent. It praises Allah or it praises his prophet Muhammad. 
Same thing with the hymns. Praises God, praises Jesus, whatever the hymn does. Hymns, nasheed, nasheed, hymns. Easy enough. Well, if your MP3 music file contains a nasheed, then Melhacker's Uber virus will not delete it. It will figure out that it contains a nasheed and it will not delete it. But if it does contain anything else, then the Recording Industry Association of America will back its deletion fully, I'm sure. <clears throat> and I'm going to pay for that one too. But that, too bad. <clears throat> you think that's bad. Just wait till what's coming up at the end. Because I'm going to pay for that one. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> if you have a nasheed in your MP3 files, all your firstborn nasheeds are safe. But if it's not that, then it's going to be deleted. <clears throat> I hit the reply button on one of these emails. Yeah, and they're still coming in. <laughs> I hit the reply button on one of these emails. And I wrote back, So, if it ain't Nasheed, it ain't Shiite. <laughs> oh, I'm going to pay for that one. <clears throat> I'm Rob Rosenberger for V-Myths. That's V-M-Y-T-H-S dot com. Truth about computer security hysteria. Be there or be scared. <laughs>